needed. Sorry it didn't go the way it should have been. <clears throat> yes, well. There's only so much you could have done. I surrender myself in full to the Erdharts and the Amem dynasty. If you haven't heard already, Baroness is awake. It's her dynasty. I was there. I was there when Adasco surrendered. Ah. I too would have surrendered myself if my daughter was not at the refugee camp. I went there and made myself useful. I had an agreement with Bargo Thule to help defend oh, Chamberlain. Oh, look who's come crawling back to notice. Limping. Doing what I could to protect those who could not protect themselves. You lost family today. I have no you, regrets. Uh, we're killing our men. I did what I had to to protect my daughter. You know that. I release him under your care. We can put him up there if you want. Thank you, Lord Erhard. Appreciate it. Love him. If you were to check him, you would see he has already disarmed himself. And if you were to look, his weapons are by the gate. Alright, let's go. Thank you, Lord Earhart. It is a great pleasure to have the last of Adasco's traitors in our hands. Fortunately, not everyone from the refugee camp made it back. What happened? We were beset by orcs. They were already fighting them by the time they got there. Most of the guard that were at that camp were already dead or incapacitated. We loaded up as many people as we could. On the way back, rather than <clears throat> stopping and allowing the orcs to surround us further, we chose to use the speed to our advantage, and unfortunately in the movements, people being treated. Yeah. I lost some of my men too. I will come down and speak with them momentarily if you would like to wait for me. Course. Just going to grab the guardsman and ensure that he's taken care of. Excuse me one moment. <clears throat> you know, you talk a lot for a cause. I wish you would talk less. This is what you're doing. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. This is what I want you to do. <clears throat> Shall we, Lord Aaron? After you. Lord Erdhar. Good to see you too. 
Keep getting prayers, though. So that's who I've been praying to. Lord Chamberlain. <clears throat> Come along with us. Mm. Uh, Lord Earthheart, I apologize for stopping him. I he had a, an answer I needed. It's okay. <clears throat> you have had a busy day, Lord Earthheart. It's usually the case, my lord. Don't do the job because it's easy. Case for both of us. Private Lord, come with me. We're going in with the force? Yes, I believe it would be good. <clears throat> As you wish. The Lord? I would like to speak with the injured citizens of the refugee camp. May I enter? Of course, sir. No, not Thank you. I feel like it's... Belong. So Round the corner. Clean myself up now. If I may, I'm going to ask that only you and the young Lord Earhart come and you have to leave your weapons on this side of the table. Is. This is the Lord Chamberlain. Can you do you, you realize that? It is a security precaution. You don't want stop, stop, stop. this stop. fucking stop. smoke, what? Sergeant. What? what? Stop. Stop. Can I help you, sir? They wish to see the wound. I'd like to speak. I'm letting them in. The citizens of Norris. Can they do so, they sir? Do Very kind of you. I'm just asking that they I don't bring them the the inspectors of the Guard, uh, I, would I appreciate your concern the, uh, for the security of this clinic. Of course, my lord. It's merely really doing my job. Thank you, Alex. I will go collect the few. I'm just doing the item and... Thank you. Doing a good job, son. Those names will be names given to you. you guys Once they're they finished being now. sought through. Make sure none of them are collaborators, none of... That dealt with the radicalist sect of Your the Imperium. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the God had a, the Outriders had a rough time of it. Inquisitor, I do not believe we have been properly introduced. Still your people. I'm aware of you, Lord Chamberlain. Yeah. Thank you. A pleasure. I'm here to see the injured citizens of Nordis Province that were from the refugee camp that were rescued by the intrepid Lord Erard. Yes, uh, you'll be able to shortly. You Once we have finished about. screening them. Please don't die on me. Screening them? Gamble with that gauze. Yes. There are those who are known collaborators with the sinking of the stalwart. Hmm. Names and faces. Once we're sure it's none of them, they'll be handed over. We actually have uh, one of the individuals that were captured from the refugee camp that was a servant of the robber baron, a uh, Nico Sorad. If you would like to interview him, I'm sure that my lord the Mem would be more than happy to share any information with the Imperium. The ones guilty of such a thing would not be caught wearing their uniforms, Lord Chamberlain. I'm certain any soldier ah, that in uniform would have nothing to do with the Star Wars. Ah, I see. Very well. Sarad is innocent. He was not working with the Skirkos sure when I was at Telo. There's your evidence. Of course. Witness testimony. They are our guests. Hmm. <laughs> well, once you are finished screening them, I will wait patiently. Only a few more minutes is all I ask, Lord Chamberlain. Thank you. Of course. Of course, I'm a very patient man. You know they do that as a power move. <clears throat> oh, undoubtedly. Uh, 
Uh, Lord Chamberlain. Surgeon. I don't suppose uh, you would have some folks who would be willing to help me identify some of those we lost. So we can ensure that their families are notified. Just came back with them. Would be more than happy to, although I'm not personally able to. However, I have one of my of inspectors in the lobby. They will be able to assist you with the identification. Ah, I see. Well, then, sir, yes. the screening is finished. Do you mind if I grab them? Not at all. Please, go ahead. Inspector! Come over here. Yes, my lord. We'll report to the surgeon. Assist him. Whatever he needs. As soon as things have been cleared, we're going to identify some of them. Oh, we lost that brush plate. Very well. Lady Eiderman. Wait. Excuse me. It's I'll get a steel. Yes. But the articulation's pretty good. Yeah. The inquisitor wants too weighty, but no. I definitely hey, don't yeah. want to go swimming I'm in it anytime soon. The bloody mess. Nico Surand requested to speak with you like in the prison. Mine is. But mine I was fitted for me when I was much younger. Yes, I informed you. Why do you think he would want to speak with you? No. Because he's the only friend I had at Tell during my stay. What about those, uh. Or the young lord. Mm -hmm. He treated me well and I did the same. How do they fare mm. against leather? Uh, uh, oh, the plus or minus is the, uh, More than likely, you'll be offered the same thing. I would suspect assisting the, uh, civilians at a refugee weather. camp have no but business here being so uh, far outside the dog violence. Just fine. It'll well pinch every now coming back into the fold willingly, I think no, is reason to grant him some amnesty. He's going to roll it back. It's a lot. He's also well, a I don't think Belair, that so the good publicity <laughs> leather. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's from Glenn. Uh, uh huh. Well, uh, His daughter is like Lord Earhart, if you if you do not wish to um, linger and uh, play the Imperials game and want to get yourself cleaned up, I would understand, of course. I can wait. I hesitate that they want to see me, though, is all. Interesting little, uh... He did not take time that. Mm. Imps have already had some choice words with me. One click, loud boom, and that guy over there is... Mm, I see. With him. He yelled at me to... I'll stand by at your side. Which is a terrifying... Drop it off like nothing is all I care about. Mm. Definitely need more of that. I like it when I don't use it. I prefer not using my weapons against my... <clears throat> I think it's better off used against the monsters out there. Oh, well, it came out. Like At least most. I gotta say, we're cleared and I put the surgeons are finishing their once over now, Lord Chamberlain. To the pain and should he wake. <sighs> of course. Sergeant, uh, Though I was made privy to an interaction between the young lord and my surgeons that I do not approve of, I'm certain that you'll see to it it's rectified in the near future. This morning with some of your men. If you could illustrate, I would like I to remind the myself. Lord Chamberlain that my staff or my soldiers have no obligation to do anything to or for the redots that I don't deem necessary. Of course. The next time, one of your nobles, whoever they are, one of the think to speak to my surgeons when they give their medical opinion in a way that they are lesser. They can try and find subpar Just medical sure attention outside of this clinic. Are we on the same page, Lord Inquisitor? I will find the men who Inquisitor, I think I can speak, Elfian. Lord Erhard, if I I don't may. want you to speak for the Lord Erhard. Of course, when they give medical opinions, I tend to listen. You didn't listen outside the front of the clinic. Never, never that was not medical. What was it you opinions. said to one of them? <laughs> that was their opinion of me. Oh, it was. Their opinion was that your tactics caused all of the civilians in the last cart to expire. These surgeons are meant to keep people alive. That is their assessment of the time spent between there and a place of surgery. What was your response? I should like to hear it again. I made the call I did, Lord Inquisitor. I would like to hear your response to my surgeon, please. I don't believe I remember it. Perhaps he could remind me. 
something about <clears throat> do not test you imp or something of the like. The last time I checked, we were supposed to be allies, Lord Edhart. Yes, that was in response to his you actions against me, his words And we do me. not need you. Do you understand, Lord Chamberlain? Inquisitor. It is a simple yes or no question. Between... I'm not here to negotiate with the you. The partnership between the Radads and the Imperium is ideal Posture at and... me, and you will find yourself without any support. Test me. I am not the Major. Test me. I will leave your dynasty dangling by a cunt hair. Take what I say and understand that my staff will not be mistreated by your upstart nobles. And then we can be allies. And they will bleed for you and you will bleed for them. Thank you, Lord Chamberlain. You may now see to your civilians that my men have treated and your men have saved. Or there are, shall we? Inspector. Yes, Sergeant. Which way, please? They're not over here, I don't think. Sergeant. Sir. Yes. I think they are over here. Answering to the Redobs is a courtesy. If they mistreat you, if they treat you as a lesser, if they do anything, <clears throat> well, they look fine. Of what a good ally should do. You have every right to pursue they do. Service. And if there's problems with that, we are not going to bring those Imperial surgeons on missions that you are on again. You understand? Yes, Lord Chamberlain. Yes, sir. If yes, I may. Sir. There's one thing to be a healing hand. You may. I said that in response to him being rude to me. I understand his medical opinion, but when he starts throwing fleck at me. Just so you're aware of the full situation. Lord. I'm not saying he said, she mm. said. I understand what I did. I apologize. Lord Aaron. I have two you make mistakes. They make the mistakes. Mind. It is a, uh, how do you say it? No offense, a human thing. With that, that posturing that I did to him is unacceptable for partnership. If that is how they respond to incidents like this, and we cannot have incidents like this, so we remove the problem. You see what I'm saying? Is why we can no longer allow those incidents to happen. Negate the possibility. You were in a very tense situation, as were they. Blood was shed, people died, you fought side by side. Tensions were going to be high. I do not blame you. You should know better, of course, and you should have acted better. You are a lord. You are your father's son. But alas, you will not bring these imperial surgeons along with you on future uh, future missions for the Radans. It is too dangerous. You cannot jeopardize their support. Yes, Lord Is there any other information known other than the family? Perhaps we Please should begin uh, inform your father that I advised as much. Mm -hmm. I think that that would be wise. Please advise your father that I advised as much. I will. Thank you. I hope you agree. Now then, since our people are good, I think that I shall return to the keep and return to my bookkeeping. I will get myself cleaned up, Lord Chamberlain. If you have any need for me, you know how to reach me. You are fine. Go on. Yes, Surgeon. I see you making angry faces at me. Is there something that you would like to say? No, Lord Chamberlain. If you wish to talk politics in front of my patients, you may do so, though I would advise that they rest. If you are done, you are free to leave. I think most of them are unconscious, to be fair. Yes. They have gone through much. It is fairly common, but still be... Yes, Which you've shown be yourself to be quite the binding to it. I'm sure you'll bring Belen back into the fold. Lord Chamberlain. No, I the last thing really you want is cold, back. cold, wet leather sticking to your yes. steel. You require an escort, man.
having to rewrite the entire book of records. Well, books of records, shelves of records. Because of I shriek. I shriek. You're back. Yeah. How did it go? Could have been better. We lost. Everything could have been better. More than half of the Other refugees. Maps. Well, they're lucky any of them came back. They were behind enemy lines. <clears throat> Most of my men. I was on a conventional fight, my son. Orcs. Castilian has deemed it, I am no longer suited to go on any missions involving the Imperial Surgeons. You leave them to me. It's less about him, it's they more about the Inquisitor. You. I'll speak to the Major, we'll reel it in. <sighs> You're asked to do the fucking impossible, I don't want to hear it. To take a small group over to an area that we know is behind Orc, Crag territory and bring civilians back unharmed. This is why I prepared a cure if I didn't trust it for a second. You have done nothing wrong. I can't do that again with civvies. I... I can't bring fucking peasants out there again. They don't listen. They don't move when they need to and they get people killed. They get my men killed. Starting to feel the burdens of leadership. It's the fact that you give a shit that matters. Think of it this way, my son. The soldiers that came with you understood the task. The civilians didn't have a choice. Without you, all of them would be dead. Not some, not half, all of them. The fact that action was taken that has preserved a few of those lives is far more than what would have happened if you did not take the risk. Just made a tough call and they're never easy. These calls will never be easy. Kyler and everyone will damn you for them, but they'll never make the call themselves.
You did nothing wrong. If you did, I would be the first to admonish you. And why does it feel like I lost? <laughs> I'm doing <clears throat> everything right. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it by the book. I mean, we were sitting in a, in a spot that had been scouted like 30 minutes earlier. I... I <sighs> The battlefield is ever-changing. And it doesn't help that the people at our back, my son, don't care about our success. But that will change soon. That I promise. I've not lied to you yet. No. How do you think I felt after Ambershire and Oakenbrook? Probably a lot worse than this. How do you think I felt about Ledford's final days? <sighs> or more personal, the day that Lucian died because I commanded everyone to hold their ground. That the Arlandis had to know that we were still there. That everyone fell one by one, even Tang could not move, and everyone was surrounded and dying because of my call. It's a heavy burden. It'll always be one. And you won't know if you made the right call until much later. You saved lives that are going to remember your name. Not the Barons. Not the fucking Inquisitor. Not the Lippy Surgeons. They're going to remember the boy who came out in barely any armor. The ragtag group that saved them and theirs. They'll curse me for getting and their daughters killed. they will live because killed. of you. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. I'd will. My son, not everyone is going to be glad to see me back home. There will be those who accuse me of fleeing, running. Why didn't you fight and die? Like all the others. It won't matter that what I do is to rebuild to secure the one person that can unite us all. People will see what they want to see, and unfortunately, failure avails eyesight far greater than success. But over time, people realize. They come to terms. There's fucking Ulrich as well. The shit that he wants to pull. <laughs> and he had the fucking goal. I've heard whispers that Ulrich is spending a great deal of time with Victor and the Conic. <laughs> be wary of him. I'm not even meant to be around them anymore, so that's easy. That'll be rescinded. Might not be such a bad idea. I put it to the Chamberlain that we start training our own surgeon corps. So we don't have to rely on the imps so much for missions like this, but it would take a long fucking time. Time we don't have. Yeah. Long term, we'll find other places to get those of medical expertise and sign them on with us. But for now, we have to work with what we have. I will speak to the Major. I will have him talk down this Inquisitor. Because they seem to be close. Things will be smoothed out. But you can't keep putting the expected losses on your shoulders as if it's your fault. It doesn't matter who would have led those men out there. 
It doesn't matter if I let them out there. There would be casualties. Yes, this is not a conventional enemy. They are beasts with intellect. We are food to them. <clears throat> you save those people from being eaten alive. They need to be grateful. It's... <sighs> I get the losses, I do. I mean, we, we, we had it when we were fighting the Robert Baron and stuff. The, the issue for me was... Because I had to bring civvies with us that didn't, weren't regimented, they, my men had to die because of that, and that's what frustrates me. If we had taken a military action, if we'd taken a proper force out there, I'm not saying no one would have died, but fuck, at least it wouldn't have been because of incompetence or, or trying to be a hero or... That's that's the bit I'm annoyed at, that's all. Man is done that fully. Yeah. I thought you would. I don't think of all of our misadventures. Of course I know. I understand. You gotta look at the potential house guards. Any... Anything good there? Any good news? A good number of them seem to be good. Out of the 40 or so in the company, I think about half that is something I'd trust. The CEO is not gonna like Regiment them it. into... Hmm? The CEO is not gonna like us poaching that many. I don't give a shit. What do you like? Several of these men were mine before he ever knew them anyway. <laughs> a few Arlandis in there too. <clears throat> the Arlandis will share our hatred for the enemy. Good. In the next few days to come, we're going to build our own strength. The Baroness signing off on us having that iron mine was huge. Mm. And we will use that to line our own pockets, hire our own men, rebuild. I spent some time today with some of these hunters tracking this griffin in the mountains. Oh, yeah? I frequent the province. We have not seen it yet, but we have seen plenty of its fellow. Others and its claw marks and some of the larger trees. That'd be amazing to see. They're highly intelligent, you know. Very smart. Very proud. Very proud. Of there is no taming a griffin, there is only earning its respect. I see why it's so sigil. I can't have the manpower. I will have the beast. <laughs> no, really? You're not. I intend to. <laughs> Did I not tell you that my father had a griffin? No. What? No. Yes, my son. You're bullshitting. I, I see it, you're bullshitting. Uh, I am not. I tell you the truth and only but. My father had befriended a griffin that lived in the mountains to the east of our castle. He stumbled across it by accident once. It was a hunt that had gone awry with some of his bannermen. He had gotten separated day turned into night, and he found himself surrounded by wolves, his horse exhausted. He kept trying to press on, looking for a clearing or some sense of civilization to get away from the ravenous things. 
His poor horse was dragged down by the amount of times that they jumped claws and teeth bared, and he wound up on foot. He wound up finding his way into a clearing indeed, but it was of no avail. It was just a large dead tree in the center of it all. He did what he could. <laughs> My lord father climbed the tree for his life. He spent several days in that tree, waiting for someone to come and help him while those wolves circled around. He was an easy meal, you see. The way that he told me was, eventually he saw a great shadow that he thought was perhaps a cloud coming over the sun itself, but it was an expansive wings and a great great beast landed inside of the tree alongside him, breaking several of the large, older bows. He was so dehydrated, he did not know what he was looking at. All he saw was a great eye and beak and a feathered head looking at him sideways, the eye taking him in. <clears throat> My father thought he was done for and drew his sword and <laughs> apparently poked at the thing and it used his beak to smack it right out of his hand. Father, as weak as he was, kept trying to stand. He didn't know what he was going to do if he stood, but he kept standing. The griffin seemed baffled by this. A prey should lay down and die when it's found by its betters, by its reckoning. But every time it's pushed him back down and looked to peck at the flesh upon his body. <laughs> My father, if you believe it, swung at the beast and just uselessly hit it in its beak. According to my father, it was stunned. Not from the hit, but from the fact he was too stupid to just die. The wolves themselves wound up breaking apart and fleeing at the sight of this creature. After a while, I decided to begin to leave, flapping its great wings, looking to take flight. And my father, in a last-ditch attempt to survive, knowing his body didn't have much more to give, grabbed on. <laughs> Hung on for dear life. As at this point, you don't know what is truth and what is fallacy. He says he does not know for how long he was flying does not know for how long he was upon its back. It felt like days. Nights melded with mornings. So tired and dehydrated and near death that he was. Eventually he found himself awakening near a village. There was frost upon his body. They only signify that he was as high as he thought he was. The only truth through his delirium. The griffin was nowhere to be seen, but the townsfolk knew who he was and took him in. And over time he was returned to the castle. Weeks later, walking the battlements, my father received the visitor. It landed on one of the towers of the keep, breaking some of the crenellations under its great weight, sending some of the men scattering for their lives. It was huge. <laughs> you can imagine <laughs> everyone's surprise when my father walked right up to it and put his hand on its beak and spoke with it. From that point on, it would frequent the keep whenever it pleased. Visiting my father, they'd be in the tower. I don't know what they did up there. I like to think he spoke to it. And whether it understood or not, it was intrigued by the company. But what really solidified my father as the Griffin Lord 
was it allowed him to ride it. Huh. <laughs> what a sight it was. My father had beautiful engraved armor of gold. His cape, a deep purple. He wore no helmet because he wanted the enemy to see his face and his allies to see it, but he rode atop it gleaming, I remember as a boy, watching it. It comes <clears throat> and going from the tower. To this day, so many years later, I wonder if it was all just a dream. <sighs> but... I know it is true. Let's go talk to a fucking griffin then, I guess. It won't be that easy. And it could very much decide to just eat me. Mm. We'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be smart. It wouldn't do it. But they're also proud. Mm. Incredibly proud. Knock on the door. My lord. To talk to the uh, you see, Lord Kyler, uh, you see your father in? He is. If you would. Uh, the outside. Oh, your God, to see. As you wish. Some uh, visitors. You may stay by the door. Of course. Ah. He's well, hard. thinking really hard right now. Give him a second. Yes, my lord, what can I do for you? Yes, I wanted to talk to you about a few things, if you're not busy, of course. I'm uh, unfortunately very busy. We don't from here. Oh, I see. Well, I'm back to the keep very shortly. Very well, I'll try to cut it short, hmm? unless you must go immediately. Is it something you'd be able to instead speak to my son about? That I can. Very well. <clears throat> I would appreciate it. And I don't want to keep the barons waiting. If you'll forgive me. <clears throat> of course. How can I help Lord, uh, forgive me? <laughs> Mendo Cash, I am the landlord, oh. not... It's That's right. Sense. Forgive me, I go through so many phases. Yes. How can I help? It is fine. Yes, I wanted to talk to your father about leasing some land for... Uh, as we briefly talked when you were in the uh, throne room. Uh, with the, well, what I've now heard, the refugee camp coming under attack. And... If not so many uh, coming back alive is a great concern. I wanted to talk uh, about getting some of my land that I lost to the rocks uh, back and on a profit of well, the marshal 
being the head of security for an office, we're leasing the land to do as he sees fit, as long as he gets it back, of course. Uh, quite a few contacts, if you'd say, with the orcs now pushing deeper into our territory. Uh, it's getting harder to move things, as you see. My companies are closing down and moving out, and well, I need security. Lots of land. I need some land to grab the back, of course. All of this would be paid well. I would pay you and your father, of course. But... I see. Um, it would have to be a proper letter of proposal. If you want to send a missive, I'll make sure it gets fast-tracked to the front of his line and he can go over it properly. I don't think I have quite the authority to make any calls, but I'm sure <laughs> we can work something out. Good. But it would be some coin. Mm. We still have businesses to run, of course. All I need is security. Some guards here and there, if possible, some land reclaimed hmm. to continue with my workers, bringing in coin. This is all. Of course, yeah. I'll let him know, um, and if you want to send through a missive, then I'll point him into it, just so he's on the same page and stuff. We can figure something out from there, work together and make everyone happy, yes? Good. Very well, then. <laughs> And I've heard what's happened again. Sorry, your uh, trip did not go as well as you planned it to. Difficult mission from the start, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> of course. Have a wonderful you have evening. a good day. <laughs> Would say young lord, but you're older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good eve.
tired, Kyla. Not very hopeful. You like the story, though. Exactly. Easy, my lord. That's why oh. I am, uh... Hey, Tubes. How are you doing, Kylo? People. One piece? I miss people. Hmm. Peachy. Uh. No, are they just going to Peachy sounds people? like you need more alcohol. And make me I agree. It's been a day. Did she suddenly drink that? Hmm? <clears throat> sure. Know. On me. No, maybe. Thanks. Maybe. I'm for later, around. Come along. What? Uh. Uh, quick question. Uh. How much do yeah, I owe you for the uh, set of throwing knives? Mm -hmm. Um. Let me think. Thank you again, Tibbs. I might be able to just give you the coin now. Uh, you as well. <laughs> it would be four Good silver. You in one piece. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Rich. Mm hmm. One to each. <sighs> Don't you dare sit all the way down there. You're so far away. You have uh, plenty of space up here. Comfortable we... seating and all. You don't need to be so far away and so secluded all the time. Don't you start climbing that, mug man. I'm watching you. Huh? I have been Mama Basil all day. I want you to know. Yeah, always. Oh. What do you mean? Appreciate no, ex ex extreme. But, uh, to the extreme today. I, I knocked two of the unruly boys, Shikar and. Bumped his head with his friend and. Then I started worrying about other people and all sorts of things. It's troubling you, my friend. Take care, Rupert. Rough mission. Every time. Right. We got a few of those. <sighs> yeah, this one was, uh, something. Every time. There's, uh, I could feel it in the wind that it will be soon. All right. I won't press it any further. Right, I'm just but if you want to talk about it, I'm here. Alright? Had to make a tough call. People don't like that. Trolls are tough because somebody has to make them. It's only the brave that do. You did the right thing. Mm. 
There's a few people that agree with you. <laughs> well, great to say I'm always going to have your corner, my friend. <laughs> I'd rather you tell me if I did something wrong. I'd tell you if you did something wrong straight to your face, but I'm still going to support you to have you learn from it. Yeah. What'd you get up to today? Well, that little one over there decided to go try to stop a walk horde with a handful of mercenaries and... Oh. and you sleep no, it, was, no, it wasn't his idea, it was Sigvana's. Yeah, we <laughs> caught the tail. Yeah, I was told there were just some goblins and some fucking orcs. Nothing about full plate mail. Uh, well... Goblins and full plate oh, and orcs as well. Yeah, a few of them, the not many, but uh, some greys. It's quite. It's a few greys, yeah. I, I've yeah we caught the tail I showed up on the tail end. I appreciate you. Send some love to the men. They earned it. The one who helped us out and pulled the air out of my leg. I like it. Okay. Uh, quite rough for us, though. There's been a few. Yeah. Goblins with that plate for giving us a run for our money. It was only four of us. And then myself, so five. Most of them were all crossbows, so I had to stay to the front. Keep them from pouring through the crack. One of my men lost his arm. It's out of commission, to say the least. They might live. I got forced to take a bunch of civvies on a mission, and the inability to follow what has got my men killed. Just for the guy who uh, set it up to show up. Then I made a call that got more innocent people killed. Have fun on the boat. Oh yeah, I bet. Had a good time. The civilians didn't listen to your words, no matter how much you demanded it. <sighs> when I told them to go or get on the cart and leave someone or play hero and stand today. behind or I only had one hero racist yeah. encounter and it barely showered my mood at all. The rest of today was well, great. To fair, my lord, you can't be <coughs> responsible for every civilian who's hard headed as a rock. The frustration is that I had to bring them along. If I had just gone with my men, it would have been a lot cleaner. Maybe, maybe so many people would have died. Mm -hmm. Well, the lesson was heavy this time. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of what ifs after combat, my lord. I'll be honest. You could what if everything. What if I was there, and what if your father was there? Maybe things could have been different. What if Dredge was there? All these what ifs, they don't matter at the moment. You take what you can from there, and learn from it, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Okay. Mm. How many got out? See these? What happened? Yes. Everyone. The refugee camp. I lost most of my men. And less than half of the civvies. Oh. The refugees. Hmm. It was very rough. We, we ultimately had to retreat. Because well, the men died fighting for their own, their people. Oh. Don't take your, their death slowly on your shoulders. Oh. They died covering idiots. They didn't listen. They weren't... They weren't my men. You... You guys need refills. How about a bottle? Big one. Bottle? Alright. Um, yeah, I'll leave us here then. One second. I trained them. I. Oh.
The best thing you can do for them is remember who they were. Remember their names. Remember every moment you work to make them better. And remember to make them and the ones that come next better. It hurts. It tears away at your very soul. Feels like my friend. People you've worked with, trained with. Practically taken care of from childhood, even. <sighs> the pain doesn't stop, my friend. <sighs> yeah. Just a bad mission. We just work to improve the men, my lord. We work to make them stronger than they are. There's still gaps in the training. We've seen it. We focus on the ones that are still breathing. sound cold but you're speaking to a man who's literally lost everything every comrade of an arms I'll say this that way my friend take the night be with those you were close with let down the armor So that way, when you awake, the armor is just a little less heavy. Yeah, I'll do that. Good. Great, I'd stay with you longer. But your father asked me to attend to some of the guards' duties up above. Do your thing. Anything you drink, I'll cover. All right. Tati? Oh, yeah? Hmm. Sneaky one, aren't you? Surprisingly. Anything left for him to drink tonight? Put it on my top. Alright? Can do. Tati? Will you stop by the penthouse uh, sometime? Um, <laughs> yeah. Later. Thank you. Alright. Okay. Take your time. Alright. I'll be alright. Take it slow. <laughs> uh, if not, I'll rip you out of bed in the morning and we'll train by the blade. <laughs> Oh. oh, might be my pipe weed. Here to um help with that if you need. Thanks. Oh. Take a like to you, Ari. That can do. I think we're creatures of similar personality. <laughs> we're going to have to make room with our dog. I know I had to warn the other cat, I was like, if Peter sees you, I don't know if you'll want to be around here. <laughs> Hello.
tapestry broom. Okay. Is, uh, I mean, would this maybe I have a broom as a spirit? We're gonna start down here. No, I just. Odd. Because you don't like sleeping doesn't mean that others are strange. Well, right, so I'll clear mine yeah. for you. Nothing to fear. You've only really just come back from one. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't take out what happened. So what do you think of my idea, Ari? <sighs> How should we acquire this honey? Well, I am definitely my men got butchered because people didn't follow orders. Because I had to bring civilians. People trying to play hero, people not listening. And then after they were all dead, I had to make a call and I got more people killed. And now people hate me for it. I lost all of my men and a half of the civilians that we tried to get. Less than half made it back. People don't... I mean... Sap should burn just fine. Even if you don't burn, might make it so you can kind of use a mixture of but it wouldn't be as expensive. I'll catch up with you later. Mm, dilute it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know See much, around. but I think it's very versatile. Mm. The farmer mentioned the tea leaves. What do you need? <coughs> oh, it's all... I am... doing the operation. Yeah. Uh, how do I say Then I, uh... Then I fail to follow your orders. Who's busy? Don't worry about it. I'm not blaming you. Your sandals doing okay? Mm, well, hey. I'm just after. If, if we can walk and talk, I am. Um... Hi, Miss Marin. There is a point when we saw the um, shield of the orc charging my back line. To be honest, I, uh, I, I did abandon what I was doing to fight them. Mm. I, I hate it at the moment. I'm, I'm sorry if I jeopardized uh, everything. I, I'm sorry as well that you lost your Don't worry about it. They were there for a reason. It wasn't your fault. Your job was to protect the civilians, and that's what you were trying to do. You were not the problem. Oh, okay. Thank you. she help? Nisara. Hmm. She does. I mean, I, I wouldn't be there with you with the spirit in hand if it wasn't for her. Consider me an extension of her arm. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad she helps.
See you tomorrow. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> 